Hello everyone. I am a little bit behind, just about like 30 seconds, I guess. It's not really that far, but I was attempting to be outside and now I'm just still getting Instagram ready, but I don't know that this is going to work because I'm on my iPad. Um, it's awfully big. <laughs> Anyways, welcome. Um, yeah, that's just not working. There we go. Welcome to day 15, halfway mark of this 30-day series, and I am just feeling so inspired this morning. I have been watching more about this Dance to be Free program by Lucy Wallace. I'm going to put up a couple different YouTube links to see more, to hear more about this woman who is taking dance and the power of dance, let me swallow a little bit, there <laughs> into prisons, into women's prisons, and it's super, super powerful. It is changing these women's lives, and to hear their testimonies Oh my gosh, these women are saying so much more succinctly what I am trying to say in 30 days. Like, just the power of dance to help them get, to soften, to help them create a different environment, a different community in these institutions, to help them love themselves. It's just blowing me away to the point where I'm actually reaching out to Lucy, trying to connect with her, trying to get her on Facebook or YouTube to see if we can get her on before this 30 days is up. If not, then I definitely want to let you know that I have every intention of continuing at least the interview part, probably maybe more, in a first ever Conscious Dance podcast so that we can continue to have these deep conversations and um, expose people to this powerful medicine that has the possibility of even shifting people in prison. That's just huge to me. I mean, that's why I think these testimonies are so huge. I have to just share this one um, testimony that Lucy shared in her TED Talk, and that was the fact that one woman had been on eight different medications and has gone down to one medication due to the fact that Dance to be Free is now in her prison, and has she has this availability to move and to get rid of the trauma, because trauma is stored in our bodies, and the only way to get rid of trauma, it's not talk therapy, it's not drugs, but it's actually to release the energy that gets stored in our bodies and dance is a fabulous, fantastic way to be able to get into that. So please stay tuned for that. Um, I also am just really, really, I, I'm just going to put it up front here. Um, if you're liking this series, if you want to see more of this, then there's a few ways to support this. I'd really prefer not to run out and get sponsors and have to do sponsor advertisements. So I would just love if you feel led to take one of the courses that I've been offering and have many more coming down the pipeline, um, specifically for Conscious Dance, but also just to to expand your own 3D senses that will help you dive in deeper to your soul and into your psychic abilities. And I have just found the very, very practical path through the 3D senses. Um, you can get those at Movement Medicine University. I always have links in the description. And to support the dance movement through the GoFundMe campaign. It's something that I started back in January. I haven't pushed because I just didn't know where I was going. And now I do. Now I know I want to bring this medicine to more people. So if you feel inspired, $5, $10, $100 to contribute towards the cause of not just expanding conscious dance within the conscious dance world, but expanding the medicine, this medicine that Lucy talks about in the prisons, and, and she's finding how powerful it is. Um, there's research out there finally about how dance is infect infecting and affecting PTSD. Um, we all know, those of us that dance in conscious dance, how powerful it is to heal us, and the science is finally coming forward. I want to be able to have space and time to bring that forward to a great, greater audience. So if you, all the links again are in the description, but would love just to have your support to do that. Um, and without further ado, let me introduce myself. I'm Holly McCormick, the co-creator of Movement Medicine, and I say co-creator because it takes you coming alongside of me to create the other half. I help you awaken your senses, your 3D senses, so that you can awaken your soul and awaken to deeper love, both within yourself and between other people and within the collective. Um, you can always find out more on Movement Medicine or ping me. 
And I'm also doing this 30 day live broadcast on Facebook about why I love dance. I was saying specifically conscious dance, but now it's just dance. There are so many people that are getting turned on to the power of dance. And today's topic, we're going to talk about intuition and flow. And there really, I don't know that there's much more to say about this topic based on the other days that I've talked about how dance really helps us to get into our body and to listen to what is in here. Um, I did want to talk a little bit more about the state of flow. If you're not familiar with the state of flow, I like to compare the state of flow to the intercontinental, um, I don't know what it's called, the intercontinental draft or something that's in the ocean. I just think about finding Nemo and when he gets to that point of the movie where he's talking to the sea turtles and they jump onto this intercontinental thingamabobber, whatever it's called, <laughs> um, in order to go from, I think, Hawaii down to Australia. That's, to me, what I think about the state of flow. It's like you step onto this and then all of a sudden everything just happens. You're just there for the right thing at the right time in your life. You don't have to struggle. You don't have to go out of your way. It's not this like pick yourself up by your bootstraps type thing. You just get to be there and be present with what's happening and responding to it. And you're still in your normal mundane everyday life, but all of a sudden it's become magical because you're in the state of flow. And there's, it, it's also being in a different meta, um, brain wavelength than our typical everyday mundane life. Um, so it is about being in this meditative state um, in this different type of brain wave state. And I can say that like when you step onto that flow once or twice, you get a taste of it and boom, you are hooked. You want more. You want life to be this simple, this easy, this pleasurable, and you will strive to figure out where else in your life you can do it. And the reason dance is so integral is unlike any other sport or physical activity and even structured dance, it's one of those things where if you are in a structured dance, you're being told what to do and you don't get to just follow your body's intuition, your body's ability to read the energies around you. Um, we're going to talk more about this on Wednesday about the fact that in the ecstatic dance space especially because there's just so much movement you really get to tune into that intuition and feel what it feels like to be in this flow because you might be moving forward somebody else might be moving towards you and all of a sudden your body just automatically knows how to shift and move with the energy that's coming through at you and through you and to towards you in all these different directions i don't know any other place unless you're in like a very crowded concert or festival where you get to consciously practice this deep of an intuition, this deep of a listening to your energetic system and getting into that state of flow. And it's just, I just don't have words for it, you all. It's just, oh, it's so amazing to be that deeply embedded with everybody else into this state of flow that we can have so much going on on the dance floor and no one gets injured for the most part. I mean, like I said a few days ago, sometimes people do some crazy things with contact improv. Um, and I, not to say that I don't get hit um, or I don't, you know, people don't run into me. That still happens. But that's also, you learn the state of flow and you learn how to, instead of holding on to that energy of getting hit, how to move that energy so it doesn't stay with you and it becomes part of this dance. And again, there's no other place I know on this planet to get to practice this deeply with a collective people around you to get into this state. I know there's much more read, um, written and, and talked about. I know Donna Carroll, one of the creators of Ecstatic Dance over in Oakland and the Ecstatic Dance International Training, um, was really pioneering this and, and trying to take it into Google and have flow tents where people could go and dance and get into a state of flow and then go back to work. Um, so there's definitely room to educate yourself more. This hasn't just 
been one of my hot topics. It's something I love and something I definitely participate in, but it's not like body language and the energetic world that I've deepened, I've deepened, <laughs> I've deepened, I dove in, in as deep to the, the scientific part of it. It's just something that I know happens and that's possible and that feels amazing. And even in the state of chaos, like we talked about yesterday, you can still be in a state of flow. And um, my friend sent me um, a quote from the Ant-Man where they were talking about going into the quantum physics world and harnessing the power of the chaos, of harnessing it. And if you want to harness the power of the chaos without making it like without dominating it, it's this idea of dropping into your intuition, listening deeply, and being able to be that flexible strength of the riverbanks that we talked about, the flexible masculine, the healthy version of the masculine energy, and being able to harness it by listening to it and flowing with it, not by getting rigid and trying to direct it a certain way, but being flexible. Um, and again, this is why I love the dance space because I get to be in the dance space and practice this mystery school technique. And then I get to take it out into my life. This is how I have transformed my life in a matter of years, which takes people lifetimes to do. I have gone from such, I mean, I have to show you something. So I had a girlfriend here who knows who she was. This was me about six or seven years ago. And she looked at this picture and she's like, that's, that's you, but it's not you. It's so different. And I don't know energetically if you can tell, um, yes, physically I've aged some, not a tremendous amount, hopefully, <laughs> but that's okay. I feel like I'm a fine aged wine at this point. I love it. Um, but yeah, you can tell, and these are my two boys, yay. Um, but you can tell, I mean, I look at this picture and I'm like, who is that woman? She is so different. She was so constricted. She was in her own prison. She was incarcerated freely incarcerated in her own prison. Sorry, I want to show this to Instagram as well. Um, so yeah, that, that was me a little over six or seven years ago. And because I learned to listen deep to my intuition and get out of the mental construct, I've been able to totally get into the flow of life and transform my life. So the fact that I was able to come to Tennessee all and buy a house that I've transformed into an Airbnb and a retreat space and it needs a lot more work and love and care. It's still chaotic, but I'm harnessing that chaos into the power of the flow. So I feel like that's a wrap for me. Um, let's see, what's tomorrow's topic? Tomorrow's topic is exploring, oh, ha, ha, exploring and being in emotions. So if you don't know what that means, definitely join me for tomorrow. If you want to support this movement, again, participating and educating yourself, taking the responsibility in any of the courses that I offer, all the links are in the description. It takes you over to Movement Medicine University or supporting the GoFundMe campaign. I know it's set up to really do, um, it's about the interviews I was going to do, but it's really I think it's about what feels like the flow is continuing the series in some way, shape, and form and getting powerful women like Lucy Wallace on. Maybe we can even get Donna and Tyler on here um, and any more people that want to come on from Five Rhythm and even outside of Conscious Dance is my vision so that we can really spearhead this community of dance around us and um, not that I believe dance is the only way to be free, the only way to save yourself, the only way to save the world, yet it is a very potent, potent medicine that has been used for centuries and used for centuries to create um, this in cultures, this in community, right? To, to bring people together, to bring unity in. I really do believe that there is something between the power of dance and the ability to end the race stuff and to connect us all. There's just something so powerful about it. So that's enough. Bye, y'all.